Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with the first impression again. It wasn't that long time ago I did a first impression on the Futurism Kaleidos makeup collection. <laughs> All the three palettes. Today it's a new brand again and this time it's the Ace Beauté. Beauty Beauté. I don't know how to pronounce it and it feels like nobody knows. Everybody says different but Ace Beauté. We go with that and this is the flare palette. So the palette itself look like the box but the box has the ingredients and that on it. The palette is all blank on the back side. I don't really care. And when you open it, it comes with a little plastic. I never save this. I don't know anybody that do. And the palette looks like this. And it has a mirror. I love that. And it's very easy to fold back. New palettes usually aren't but this is and this is a 15 color palette and I have wanted to test out this palette for so long so I think I know what I'm going to do because I want to get back to my true self so I'm going to do something orange and it's going to be so fun to test this out I have heard so many good things about this so I just think we will hop into the video and get to know my first impression of the flare palette. So we are up close and I'm just going to start and I think I will start with... Okay, I'm not completely sure. I think I will start with cider this one and take it in my crease and I'm only doing one eye on camera. I wanted to test this brand for such a long time but they are based in the US and when they come with their was it the Paradise collection? They came with four palettes, the Slice of Paradise, Fallen Paradise, I don't know. They came with four palettes and I was so intrigued to buy that Slice of Paradise palette. But the shipping cost was more than the palette itself and then I was like, no, thank you. And then they came to Beauty Bay. All the palettes came except for this flare palette and I have been waiting for such a long time for it to arrive to Beauty Bay. It did. I bought it immediately. I think it sold out the same day. So I am so glad that I have it and this shade was amazing. I just want to put more and more on. Okay and then I will take a little pointer brush and I will take... I think I know what colors I want to use. I think I will take saffron, this one, and put it in my crease as well. So I was so happy when this finally came. Yeah. Oh my lord, this was so bright. And I love that about me that lives in Sweden. I love Beauty Bay. Even now. The UK is... Great Britain is brexing. I don't really like that. But nothing is like finished. What I know about if there's going to be customs and stuff like that. So I'm trying not to worry about it. Because I hate it by living in Europe. The taxes and the shipping and the customs is crazy. The saffron really took over, but I still think we can see the cider shade. And these works so good. They are so easy to blend out and to like blend in together. I am so happy. So now I am taking a pumpkin, this orange. And I have a lot of new followers. I am so happy about this. Welcome to my channel, to my little makeup world <laughs> or what is this i don't know and you do, that are new here you maybe not know this but i love orange yellow and red eyeshadow oh. oh 
I want to marry you. Pumpkin. Do you see this? I think I am in love. Um, but I haven't... Okay, I can't talk right now. I don't do that much orange makeup anymore. Oh, okay, I am like... This is like the most beautiful shade ever. I haven't used orange that much lately on my channel. So I really wanted to go like back to my roots. <laughs> my orange roots. Okay, so for the inner part, I want to use Firefly, this shimmery one. And when I swatched it, it looks amazing. So I want to try it without any sticky base and just put it in here. Okay, it works without a sticky base, I would say. I, I hope you can see it. I don't know which way to twist my head. What is this for kind of magic in this palette? I know why Betty Jean loves it. She loved this palette so much. I think it's one of your favorite palettes, Betty Jean. And she talks about it so highly. And I am like, I need to test it. And it also looks beautiful. And it is freaking amazing. I also want to take this hazelnut, this one, and deepen down. My outer corner a little bit and it doesn't look like first when I touch the shades with my brush it doesn't look that I get any pigments but then I look at the brush and it's pigment on the brush so yeah I think it's always so hard to know how much these lighter shade darker shades are doing when I do this but I think it gives a little oomph to the look. And then I think I'll go in with cider again and just take it up here. Okay, I think I'm done with this. Look, maybe I want to... Where is that brush? I want to take pumpkin again. Just to blend it in a little bit better with Firefly. I really hope that you can see this awesomeness. I'm not sure, but I am so pleased with this eye. This is totally up my alley and it was so easy to do it. So yeah, I will do the other eye and take away the fallouts, fix my base and my brows. Then I come back, we do the under eyes together and I'm going to tell you my first impression of this palette even though I think you already know what it is, but I will come back and talk a little bit about, talk a little bit more about the palette. Okay, so for my under eyes, I think I will do the exact same. That's on my lid, <laughs> almost the exact same. So I will start with cider and put it in my whole lower lash. So cider is on and then I think I will go in with pumpkin on a small brush. Take closest to my lash line. Something like that. And then I actually think I want to go in with the shimmer I have in my inner corner and drag it down or do I? I think so something like that and I am so happy and for my waterline I want to take some of these or one of these um, these are from Colourpop this is just a yellow one and this is an orange as you can see I think I'm a little intrigued to take this green one or this. Okay, I will try to figure this out, put on mascara and a lipstick and then we'll come back with a finished look and I will talk a little bit about my first impression. So, this is the finished look for my waterline. I took the green one, Electric Daisy I think it is. 
Yes, it is. And for my lips, I took Better Off from Colourpop. I thought I was going to take something more orange, but then I was like, I'm going to take red, and then I took this. I I don't really know what this is. Is this if this is a mix between orange and red? The only thing I am so not used to use bullet lipsticks. I almost only use liquid lipsticks. But okay, that was not what this video was about. It is about the flare palette from Ace Boutte and. My first impression is that I love this one. I love all the colors I've used today. I've used five shades. So this saffron up here and then these four. They all are amazing. The mattes, super easy to blend. So freaking good pigmentation. And this Firefly worked amazing with no glitter glue or anything. My first impression is super good about this palette. It's going to be so fun to play with this. And there will someday be a free looks one palette with this one. And if you want to see anything else with this palette, please let me know and I will try to fix it. So my first impression, I would recommend this palette. But I have to test it more. I have to test more than five colors. But I really, really love this. So yeah, I really hope you like this video and have you test this palette and what do you think? Or do you want to test this palette? Let me know and we can share a little bit about the palette. So yeah, I really hope you like this video and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!